Welcome to Fortune Cookies Tarot. This is Super Spread Sunday, Psychic Sunday. We're doing all Britney Spears. Thank goodness I don't have a lisp because there's no way I could say Super Sunday Britney Spears that many times. Um, I've done readings for almost everybody in her family. I didn't do her brother, but he hasn't been much of a player in the uh, the news, so and I don't feel really led to giving him a reading. But I do want to read for Sam. Now, this is specifically for him. Um, this is for entertainment purposes only. And let's see what we come up with for Sam. sure you guys just heard my delivery. I just had a delivery. <laughs> so, and I feel like we're going to have the Llewellyn deck out too. So, oh, very happy. He's pleased with the judgment. He's very protective of her. He does love her. And he is trying to guide her to say the right things. Now, um, devil relation, the devil in here, the rest of the spread is, is actually pretty good. Um, but this, this is always troubling. This is always like, oh, is there an ulterior motive? If, is there um, some reason to be uh, hanging on some reason that's under the surface that uh, is possibly taking advantage of the relationship? Um, you know, I, I think he's very, very pleased with the judgment that's happened and now he is going to be very protective of her i'm wondering if it's going to be too protective and if you go back to the reading that i did for her um, i feel like she has some things she wants to say to him and i think this maybe is what's going on here um, maybe he is going to exert too much protection on her and it's going to come off badly so um, we're going to do a little bit more on him. Yeah, he wants to keep her all to himself. He wants to keep her all to himself. He doesn't want anyone mixing it up. He's glad that they have the separation from the uh, conservatorship and then we have the death card this is you know slow inevitable change he is much more patient than she is we're gonna clean these up much much more patient than Brittany is um, but he's happy about this separation he's I don't want to say he's got her where he wants her because that's really not what it is but he's he's glad that feels like he's taking a, a great big breath of air um, but he's also preparing for the future. They are about to prepare for the future. Let's see what the future holds for them. Some difficulties. Yeah, some, some difficulties. He is going to feel like he does not earn his keep, and he's not going to like that. Um, there's going to be like a whole machismo man thing that comes in here, and he's going to say like, I, they're going to start to focus on her stuff and what she needs to do for the future, and his stuff is going to kind of fall by the wayside, and he's it, it's going to leave a bad taste in his mouth. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. Sometimes you have to give and take. Give and take. Let's do some. We're going to put these down for a sec. Like frantic reader today. Frantic reader. So this is for Sam, 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 Sam. Whoop. feels lucky to have her 
lucky that they're in the situation that they are now. They can start to build a family. Dark times are behind them. Um, but there's a snake in the grass. And snake in the grass who is going to communicate with them somehow. They're going to get some information that's going to say snake in the grass. It's going to disrupt their house. Um, not a lot though. Not a lot. It's not, not going to be a terrific disruption. It's going to have to do with the end of the conservatorship is the heart of the matter and under the surface it's going to be social stuff um, they're going to question who they are around who they are moving forward with um, and whether or not that is going to be the best choice. So even though the conservatorship is over, there's going to be elements of people that are going to still try and get in there socially to manipulate the situation. Oh, I'm sorry. These cards are all the way down here. So we have ship, tower, and woman, and she's a little bit naked. So I apologize if anyone has sensitive feelings. I covered her up. I'll put her back under. Um, A magical kitten who just decided to try and claw my chair. So, come here, AJ. Say hello. Say hello to everybody. Hi. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> Go play with your sister. So, there is definitely someone who is going to try and retain control over the situation intuitively I think it's going to be her mother so let's do reading Sam and Brittany's mother let's do that let's see what we get I am so tuned into them right now So we got Sam over here. Um, the justice is served, but he's going to um, not be happy with this person who is just like, okay, well, the conservatorship's over, but you still should do this. Not going to be happy with that. Um, not going to be happy with their input and their attempt to interfere with his protection of Brittany. Um, he's going to think that that is not correctly directed. The other one is going to be concerned about um, protection and making sure that Brittany is safe. Uh, for those of you that watch Rick and Morty, keep summer safe. This is a keep summer safe situation. She's going to um, claim that that is her best interest and that is something that's going to keep her up at night. She's going to express concerns about Brittany's mental state um, and she's also going to say, well, you don't know. I, I have all this uh, innate knowledge and I've known her longer than you have. This is, I've known her her whole life. That's what she's going to, to pull. And again, this lack of, lack of really good communication. It's not a lack of communication on the Spears family's part. It's a lack of good communication which is a little bit different um, what did these two need to do to get on the same page or it can they get on the same page I really get the feeling that they don't like each other very much at all um, for entertainment purposes only if that's not true I apologize but I'm getting the sense that they're they're not very very fond of each other even I feel like I feel like Lynn is a bit more cordial to him, but it's like in a bless your heart kind of way. <laughs> um, you know, I, I, I just don't think 
I, I get the feeling that they just don't want her to be married to anybody. Like, I, I, that's so weird. They, they, they just don't want her to be with anybody. They just want her to be by herself and to be with them and they'll take care of her. Like, it's crazy. So let's see what these two need to do. They need to, to celebrate. They need to understand that they're, they they both have the tools to make this happen. They just have to knock it off, like pretty much. Um, they're missing all the good stuff by fighting about the bad stuff. And they need to be more generous with each other. And they need to... Um... <laughs> AJ's trying to walk on the back of a chair. And he's a little bit spazzy. Um, they need to be more generous with each other. Um, oh! <laughs> they can't both be the Emperor and the Queen of Wands. They both can't be in charge. This is a situation where there's too many chiefs and not enough Indians. Um, she wants to be the number one in Brittany's life, and he wants to be the number one in Brittany's life. Um, I think, uh, you know, he's probably better placed, but the, she doesn't trust him, and he doesn't trust her, and, you know, he's he's got to woo her, and she has to stop trying to control everything. She has to stop trying to, stop trying to be the boss. There is hope in the future. Um, leaving bad things, you know, for possibly better, you know, so there is some, some ability to move forward. Um, it'll take some work, but they're, you know, if they're, if they're sensible about it, they can move into the future together and, and do what's best for her. So I hope you enjoyed all these. I think this is the last one I'm going to do, but, uh, like, share and subscribe. And I hope you have a fabulous Sunday. I am going to make some brunch now. Have a great day.